A well-toned, smoothly contoured body is one of the hallmarks of fitness. But for some people, regular exercise and good eating habits are not enough. Aging, sun damage, pregnancy, and significant weight fluctuations, as well as hereditary factors, may have caused skin and tissues to stretch over time, losing their elasticity. The result is sagging skin and tissue in various areas of the body. If loose skin doesn't respond to exercise and proper eating, a body lift may be the solution. A body lift is a surgical procedure that can improve the presence of sagging skin and reshape contours to a more smooth appearance. Areas that are typically treated are the abdomen, thighs, and buttocks. This presentation will give you a general overview of the body lift procedure. It is not a substitute for a complete consultation with a qualified surgeon. A complete consultation will include the discussion of your goals and expectations for the procedure, an evaluation of your specific situation, a recommended course of treatment, and discussion of potential risks and complications. Any questions and concerns should be addressed during the consultation. Full disclosure of your health history is important to your safety. This includes any history of medical conditions or illnesses in your family your current use of any medications, vitamins, herbal supplements, as well as any alcohol, tobacco, or drug use. Good candidates for body lift are healthy men and women with no life-threatening illnesses. You should be close to your ideal weight with good eating and exercise habits. Pregnancy or other fluctuations in weight, whether losing or gaining, can adversely affect the results of the procedure. A positive outlook and reasonable expectations are also important. Patients who smoke are at increased risk of poor healing. They are advised to stop smoking for several weeks before and after surgery. Certain conditions may preclude you from or require special precautions during the procedures. These include cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, certain circulatory disorders, and diabetes. Prior to your procedure, you will be asked to sign informed consent documents. These are used to make sure you fully understand the procedure, including any risks and complications, and that you commit to following any and all instructions you are given. These include pre-surgical considerations, day of surgery instructions, and information relating to the use of anesthesia. Body lifts typically make use of a combination of the following procedures liposuction, abdominoplasty or tummy tuck, breast surgery, arm lift, thigh lift, and buttock lift. Depending on the situation, these procedures may be accomplished in one surgical session or in staged procedures with varying recovery times. Conditions that may be treated include dimpled or uneven tissue called cellulite, loose skin that has lost its elasticity, excess amounts of fatty tissue, and body contours that have become less smooth and uneven. A common technique is to make incisions in a bikini pattern around the waist, groin, and buttocks. This allows the surgeon to remove a belt of skin and fatty tissue from around the body. The skin and tissue is tightened and repositioned, creating a firmer, better toned lower body contour. Through these incisions, your surgeon will remove excess fat and reshape and reduce underlying tissue. The skin will be redraped over new contours and excess skin will be removed. Following the procedure, sutures, skin adhesives, tapes, or clips will be used to close the incisions. Small thin tubes may be placed in or near the incisions to drain any excess fluid that accumulates. Elastic bandages or a compression garment may be worn for a few weeks to reduce swelling, provide support, and help the skin conform to your new body contours. Following your procedure, you may find it difficult or painful to stand up straight, or to sit down, or lie flat. You may be instructed to maintain a somewhat bent position and sleep with pillows elevating your knees. You should begin light walking within a few days of your procedure. This should happen every few hours during recovery. Bruising, swelling, soreness, and numbness are all common side effects with body contouring procedures. Skin may also feel more firm than normal. 
any discomfort or pain you feel can be controlled with medication. As with any surgery, possible complications may arise. These include infection at the surgical site, pigment irregularities, skin or nerve damage, uneven contours, fat clots and blood clots, fluid loss or accumulation, and poor healing at the incision site. The use of anesthesia in any procedure presents its own risks. Any sutures and clips will be removed after 5 to 10 days once initial healing has taken place. Healing will continue over the next few weeks or months as swelling continues to resolve and your new contours take shape. It is important for you to keep active during this time, but refrain from any heavy lifting, bending, pushing, or strenuous activity until your surgeon gives you clearance. Although they may be obscured by swelling and bruising, your new smoother, tighter contours will be immediately apparent. Your skin quality, both in appearance and feel, will be dramatically improved. Incision lines are permanent, but may be concealed by many styles of undergarments. The results of body lift procedures are generally permanent. Maintenance is achieved through good eating habits and regular exercise. Once you have recovered from one stage of procedures, it may be time to prepare for additional procedures targeting other areas of the body. Proper and diligent sun protection must be maintained to help prevent pigment irregularities. Whether your body lift is accomplished in a single procedure or in stages, the result is the satisfaction of attaining the new contours you want and the peace of mind in having the body you desire.